Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a yarn unboxing. Well, I've been outside doing some errands and uh, the package finally arrived. So I'm going to pick it up from our community mailbox, which is a walking distance from my house. And it snowed all night. It was so nice. We had pluses. Now it's minus 15 at the moment. Well, if you live in a cold area, North Pole, that's what usually happens, right? So the city of Edmonton hasn't shoveled the sidewalks. And you can see the residential has. Okay, so I am, this is the Canada Post. And I'm just gonna hold it on and then open the mailbox. Well, it said it was delivered. It was supposed to be delivered delivered last week, but from BC, British Columbia, it went to Ontario, a different province, far away from where I live. Yeah, BC is a uh, province just next to Alberta. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to start this right away. I already started the sample. Here's the junk mail. My nose is running. So this is the box. Oh, it's pretty big. Medium size, $28 plus, uh, plus GST on top of it. So it comes to $30. I'm just gonna put the junk mail here in the box in the bag my Ikea bag oh it's pretty big so there's supposed to be 30 balls of yarn mohair yarn which I bought from Etsy okay so let's shut this and it's annoying they mm. used to uh, I missed the old ones they used to drop it at my front door which is my house is right at the beginning, the front, the first one. You can see the gray SUV. So they would drop it over there. But this new guy is making a new, new wall. <laughs> so I just need to go back. I'm a little bit tired. So I will meet you and let's open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so I'm back and here's the box. So I'm just gonna open it. This is through Canada Post. It only works in Canada, throughout Canada, when you're going to be mailing something. Like uh, this usually takes about $45 if I ship mail a package like this. But this is prepaid, so uh, $28 I believe with the GST and it comes to $30. Some change, so. Uh, I bought this the same day I bought the yarn from Turkey. This one went from Vancouver to Ontario. And then what happened was I had to put a complaint and I asked the sender to put a complaint. So uh, it can come ASAP. It was supposed to be delivered. Oh, look at the color. <laughs> Peak. This was supposed to be delivered days ago. So it made a detour, detour. So this lady, um, she's selling on Etsy, but she lives in Canada. Okay, let's open this. So I'm gonna knit a cold, oh, I wanted Barbie pink. Look at the color, love it, love it, love it. So 78% mohair, 13% wool, 9% nylon. And she shipped it super fast. Oh, oh my goodness perfect the color matches <laughs> okay and then there's uh so this lady this uh Etsy seller. She's a Canadian and um, I'll give her all her information. Thanks 
for the advice and enjoy yeah the shipping fee was like uh 60 dollars i said you can buy those pre-packed she couldn't even fit she could even fit it another bag so there's lots of room in it it's, you can ship up to 50 kill uh, five kilogram so that's good so um yeah 60 dollars. so i saved 30 dollars, and she gave me a discount So there's 10 of this, 10 of this, they're same color. Okay, let's see what's in here, I forgot. Okay, so this is the brand, never heard of it, Luxury Mohair, there's 25 gram. really hard to read this made in England uh, it's really hard to read let's grab another uh, this was from her stash so she's clearing her stash and uh Made in England. Okay, here we go. 70% mohair. Mohair is uh, goat fiber, just to point out. So this is from goat, 30% acrylic. It's not kid mohair. Kid mohair has silk in it. And um, it is uh, way softer. But it's not bad. It's not bad. So I was planning, so there's 10 here. Uh, 10 here. So I'm going to start right away with you guys. So 25 grand on each. So there's 10, 250. Okay. Three, five. Three, five. Okay, this one is called Charisma Mohair, 25 gram. Okay. UK. Made in England. So I'm going to grab. So there's 10, 10. I'm counting them just to be on the safe side. Okay. Two, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Great. Perfect. And this one has this. Probably it was in a box. Deep Fushia. Now these. this name is called Barbie Pink. Yeah, <laughs> because of the Barbie movie. Oh, isn't it funny? Okay. So, I am going to start right away. Does it have a recommendation needle? Well, I'm going to use a knitting needle. Let's see. Start with a six. So I am going to uh, knit collar cardigan coat. Okay, this is her website. See, I hate when uh, Etsy gives me a message. This has been sitting there since Friday. It's so annoying asking me to give them a feedback well i just received it today so how can i give them a feedback so the store name is called second oops what happened second hand yarn so this is not second hand it's brand new it was just in her stash so uh uh let me see if i i'm going to knit this right away because this was my plan she has beautiful yarn and she's in canada the reason i buy from canadians so i don't have to pay custom fee Every time I pay, I buy something from the USA, I, I pay custom fee, starting with twenty dollars and up. Yeah, I don't want to add that into my. Well, I sell. I try to sell my knit items. So uh, on top of that, I don't want to increase the amount that I'm paying for the yarn. Right? Okay. So I'm gonna uh, let's see. 
25 gram. So this cost me about, oh, I forgot to check the price. <coughs> Excuse me, dry throat. Let me see the price. Okay. So, purchase. It's asking me a feedback. Well, I will give a feedback with a, a what you call it, with a, with a picture. I will take a picture. Okay. Okay, so I paid $75 for the yarn, $30. Well, you, you already saw that, right? Well, what am I doing? Oh, my goodness, it's already here. Yeah, $75 for the yarn, $30 for the shipping. So $105, $5 for the tax. So that adds up to $110. Okay, so for tax, uh, you have to make $30 and over to charge people tax. So this lady just started, this uh, seller just started on Etsy. So it's impossible. So they're pocketing this amount. Just to point out, it's not right, but what can you do? Like, I don't make $30 a year to get my GST number, right? I already have a GST number from my other company. But um, the thing is, I don't make $30 on this company. So that's, and this is my hobby. So I don't charge. Oh, this is way darker. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's put this. Does it have a needle in the recommendation yet? It's asking for a 4.5 to 5 millimeter knitting needles. But I'm going to do this three ply. Okay. I love the color. The color is beautiful, deep. And I do have burgundy in my stash. I bought it from eBay years ago. And what happened was I bought too many. I don't know how many I bought. So I, I still haven't had a chance to knit. But I had to knit this with this color. Because it's super popular this year. Yeah. Okay. So again, this is goat. Mohair is goat hair. From the goat. And I am, I really don't like the new ones that they're making these yarns. There's uh, too many things going on. So I'm happy. Uh, this one, I pulled it inside. Let me try to pull this inside because it comes out nice and smooth. Yeah. Let's do it that way. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. And I will show you. I already started on the yarn that I had. I had about a one kilogram, so just over two pounds. Okay, and um, the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Like, you need at least seven to 800 gram of yarn to knit this coat. Okay, the, and uh, I used to knit them in pieces and then sew them up. But my goal is to knit, knit them one piece seamless. And then, so I am creating this design. And uh, if, here we go. So three strand. Okay, so I did some multiplication, adding and so on. And I draw this. I'm not good with drawing. So I draw this. And this is the coat that I'm going to be making. Knitting. Top down. Okay. So I figured out with a four weight. If you want to knit it with a four weight. You need to knit with at least six millimeter knitting needle. Or five to five and a half millimeter knitting needle. If you are a loose knitter. And 66 stitches you need to cast on. And here are the body parts, 16, 16, one on each of the increases, seven on the sleeves, and 16 on the back. Okay, so for the chunky yarn, you need to cast on 55 stitches, 12, 12 on the front, one, one, one on the increase, and for the sleeve, six, six, and on the back, 50. Okay, so this is for chunky yarn. If you have chunky, if you have a four weight, five weight, I would recommend this. Okay, 
So I already started with a chunky yarn. Let me just bring that here. So I started, I've been knitting since last night, I believe. Because yeah, I finished the bridal shrug that I was knitting. Okay, so top down, I haven't done um, uh, short rows. I'm going to do that when I'm doing the back. So I'm going to knit a couple of rows and then go from there. Okay, so I have started. Okay. I knitted about six inches, so I still need to knit three more inches. Then I'm going to divide the body parts. So what we do is when we cast on, so on here I did 12, 12. 12 12 and then what I did is I started to do my increases so one stitch at a time on the both sides going back one stitch so nine times I did the increase so I created this V okay so later on we're going to pick up stitches and knit the collar so knit the collar is going to be this part right here that we're I'm going to be knitting and then for this one, I already cast on. So you can see, it just looks a little bit awkward, but I'm sure it's going to turn out fantastic. So I did, uh, how many did I? 15. About seven, 15 stitches I added. So it's about, Yeah, just over five stitch uh, five inches i added stitches so 15. it depends on your again if you have chunky yarn this is chunky yarn 15. so if you're going to knit with a four weight uh, i would say cast on about six inches wide so this is going to be folding towards this way okay just to give you an idea Okay, so I am going to start on this. So oh, I started with a six a millimeter knitting needle and I noticed it's tight. Then I moved on to a eight millimeter knitting needle. So this is the eight. Okay, just want to show you. So I'm knitting the front with eight. Well, I'm, I, I just, I didn't have enough. I don't have long cable, the uh, wire knitting needles. So what I did is I put down, put it on for three knitting needles just to show you how it looks because it's pretty wide. And plus, um, I want this to be a plus size. So that's another thing. But I need to find out how it's going to turn out. So please bear with me. And again, uh, if you're knitting for a small size, knit about seven inches and then divide the body parts. Okay, because uh, usually everyone's neck is pretty same, pretty close. <laughs> okay, where did my yarn go? Pretty close. Well, if you're uh, if you have a big neck, you need to measure your neck area, and then go from there. And uh, I usually give out the numbers. For 40, 40 stitches uh, for a small to extra small. Oh, sorry, I have to grab water for a v-neck. Well, this is like a v-neck. Okay, so I'm just, most of my needles are occupied. Yep. Just trying. <laughs> we'll have 11 here. 11 won't work. Uh, let's see what this is. Let's start with the five and a half and we'll go from there. I believe this is a five and a half because uh, we're making three ply, right? Three strands. Yeah, this is a five and a half. Let's start with this and then uh, if it's too small, uh, the needle size, I can go up because I am designing this <laughs> as I go. And I just had to share this excitement with this beautiful yarn to show you how it looks like when you knit it up and look at this I could even add some uh, shine to it but nah I'll just leave it the way it is okay so six 
the 55 stitches I'm going to cast on. You know what? I don't want to waste any of this gorgeous yarn. So what I'll do is I'll cast on. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tough. Yeah, I should be knitting with bigger knitting needles. You know what? I should start with uh, this one. Yeah, this is one of my biggest knitting needles that I have, which is a 11 millimeter knitting needle. No, it's a 13. 13 US. So 13 US is a 9. Yeah, let's start with this one because uh, the 5 point uh five is pretty thin compared to this yeah and then i want it uh airy and fluffy right and here we go so this is how i'm going to start if you don't want to waste yarn and your yarn is precious so uh, this is how we cast on and i I think I believe I do have a tutorial on this one. So, okay, so as if to knit. Okay, just like this, but don't let it go and then put it back here. And then the, I don't take the needle from the needle and I put it back as if to knit. Well, I am knitting and I'm grabbing a stitch. So we have three. So 12 on the front. Oh, this is going to be very soft. Oh, I need to go and check more if she has more of this beautiful yarn. Well, I'll message her. This is beautiful. So I'm going to put this unboxing in part one on how to knit a collared coat. Uh, I did sell two of my mohair coats that I have knit, but the collar was just a regular collar, nothing like this. I, one was black and one was green, and I think I had a burgundy. Yeah, I did. But the collar wasn't this wide. So uh, when we're adding stitches, like the one that I just showed you, and then it's going to be building up on top of each other. So we need more fabric, right, to knit this coat. And for some reason, I'm noticing it's very popular. I've been seeing people wearing, but not hand knit coats. So I'm going to put this unboxing and uh, part one. So I will come part two with this to show you how it's knit up. Because the other one I'm already working and I don't know when I'm going to come back. So please bear with me. And I uh, love the color. So I am casting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And I am going to put, be putting my marker as I go. I don't have to come back. So this is going to be the increase. Oh, what a cheap. I paid money for these markers and look. So I am putting my marker. Again, this is for a plus size. Or oversize. Because uh, oversize can be worn as well to give them room. People like room on their garments. Okay, so this was the front, and then this is going to be the sleeve area. So 
so six. And then this is going to be the increase. Just like this. And then 15 is going to be the back. I would highly recommend this uh, seller if you're looking for vintage yarn. It's nice and clean and smell. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have pet hair on it. It does smell a bit smoke, but uh, I'll wash it. Yeah, it's not that bad. Like my nose is very sensitive, so it's not that bad. Okay, so let me just show where did I put that marker? I need to put it two, four, six. I need to put it on the stitch right here. So I know that's the increased stitch. So again, 15 for the back, and then you just continue. I don't want this video to be long. I will come back with part two, and then we'll continue. Uh, just continue making 15, and then put a stitch marker on the one stitch, and then just continue adding stitches and just knit and then like I said the one that I showed you increase about nine rows to make a V and then that's where we're going to pick up stitches to knit the collar okay and then after that you add uh, 15 stitches to make the big air the big collar so there's going to be two collars on this coat one here and then we're going to pick up stitches after. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for this uh, tutorial. I'm going to be knitting two coats while I'm doing this tutorial. Okay. Yeah, the yarn is nice. It's not that scratchy because it's vintage. Like these new yarns that you buy, they are scratchy. Yeah, but, but the thing is, it has lots of lots of uh, mohair yarn in it mohair it's not like 10 percent mohair and then the rest is polyamide or acrylic this has lots of mohair compare but it's nice and soft and it's shiny as you can see the texture is nice okay so i will let you go if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe Share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. I just wanted to say that info before I let you go. I don't think I will be buying. If I do it again, I will do it, but I am not planning to buy yarn. I need to work on the yarns that I already have. And, uh, yeah, I went up, sorry. So I am doing, I am casting on. Um, yeah, this needle is perfect for this. I will continue a little bit and I will let you go. So uh, back was supposed to be 15, let's count. So this is the increase. 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay, so this is the increase. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, let me count one more time. Fifteen, and then six for the sleeve. Perfect. Okay. 
and one for the increase, one stitch, and the rest is 12 for the front. Okay, let's count again, two, four, six, and one increase. So I'm going to cast on 12 and then, so, yeah, 25. I do have uh, cones, yeah, just thinking. This is pretty, pretty nice color. I don't think I have this color more hair in my stash. Let's count. Oh, see, when you put the stitch marker, doesn't look good. Let's count again. It's supposed to be on here. Well, what happens? See, it has to be on there. Okay. 10. 11. 12. Let's count again. Oh, okay, 12. So we're going to start knitting. Well, this was supposed to be the wrong side. Uh, let's start knitting. So just knit. So I don't do increases here. But when I come, I will start doing the increase it's the first row so when i come this way i will do my increase and i will show you and i will let you go okay so i do my increase so this is how i do my increase as i've been doing all these years Okay, and this is a knit, and then I make an increase. But you can you see the the marker went on the other side, so we need to fix that. So I know that this stitch is the increase stitch. So don't forget that, because on the other one, the boucle yarn that I'm knitting, I have been uh, moving the stitch marker every time I move around. Okay, so put that marker there. And then we know that this is the increase stitch and we do an increase here and then we do increase here okay so continue knitting oh this is really nice to knit with even i'm not used to with uh, knitting with big needles but uh you know it goes nice and smooth it's really nice yeah okay so i make an increase here And then I make an increase here. Oh, well, this one didn't move. That's okay. I will let that stay. And then I knit the 15 stitches. And I'm going up. See? Knitting with three strands of yarn. Let's see how the fabric's going to turn out. I can't wait to see. Beautiful. Okay, increase. two times for the for the two for the back and for the sleeve area we make increases
it's a little bit tough. To, I'm not used to knitting with big needles, so for me, it's uh, I will get used to it. Okay, do an increase and then make that increase stitch and make another increase and then continue knitting. Okay, so I'm going to knit, but don't take it out, and then make a stitch, okay? So here is my first increase. So I'm gonna put a marker there, a different color, so I know that uh, it's going to be my increase row. Well, beginning of the increase. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing when I come to the wrong side. I'm going to do my increase right here. So both sides, nine times we're going to do the increase. So I hope you like this unboxing. I really enjoy this yarn. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, again, hit that notification button when you do. And I'll see you on my next videos. You guys take care. Bye-bye.